Khat Foundation, it was it was really basically at the core of it is to create these networks and create collaboration or the possibilities of a collaboration between different designers in the region. Because at the time it was, I was teaching here and I realized that actually it's design was growing as a field, as an educational field, but it was also growing in the Gulf region, it was growing in the Middle East, you know, it was no longer just in Beirut or in Cairo or in, you know, and there was, um, from my travels, there was always a feeling that not everybody knew what the other people were doing. And as a culture, or as, you know, we have this advantage of actually being one culture, even though we're geographically so widely spread and we're very different from each other in some ways, we have a lot of things in common. So it was very interesting to think, okay, there should be a platform where people are aware of what is happening in other cultures and learn from that and exchange and get inspired from each other. And of course, the educational programs were growing, so it was like, a, you know, very good opportunity. Um, the other things is I think in principle design is about collaboration. I mean that's two things that is um, as a design because design is about um, you know you start with an idea you start with thinking about another person actually the people that you're designing for whether they are um, a society or whether they are commissioning you so there's, there's you start from someone else actually and then you are working towards something that needs to be produced that you can never produce by yourself because as a designer you're not necessarily an, an, an artisan or you're not necessarily in industry so it's about collaboration it applies to most design industries and what i found from the projects we've done in actually in the Khat foundation is that designers by nature are very good at collaborating with others actually because we're trained that way you're trained to think that i create an idea but then i have to bring it to my client and he's going to contribute also with his comments and her comments and then I'm going to bring it to another person who's going to make it happen and that person could be you know three different people different, doing different parts of your work so I found when, when, when I brought together designers even though they were from different cultures because they are used to communicating which is very important in collaboration and they are used to working in fields where they have to trust the other person whether it's an arti artisan or a producer they are very flexible in fact they are flexible to work also with other designers especially in the Arab world that um, Islamic art so our tradition of Islamic art was always very connected to tradition and artisans and it was always produced a lot of work like even the smallest miniatures I was fascinated once to read that they were actually made by a workshop there were lots of people doing teeny bits of things to just make a painting you know and I thought wow this is fantastic you know we as designers should be inspired by that and you know continue that tradition it's part of our culture we don't think about it and we don't realize that a lot of um, these artisans actually the very few of them are famous so it's about making the it's about the work rather than the person behind it it's useful to map designers so it's for me for example what i do with hut is have this network but we don't have a mapping of them you know we don't really actually you know you can search but it's not a visual mapping so you can search you can say well i who's you know i put saudi arabia and i get a list of people in saudi arabia or events or whatever so i have list um but that's also dependent on what they enter as information and it's just it's it, it's like searching words and I think this is very this is more interesting because you very quickly with any information graphics you very quickly get a map of the region you get a map the design map of the region so that could be very uh, useful in the in in searching visually for things because as designers it's a natural thing for us to do but I also think that more important is the message behind it to to show the amount of, of collaboration because a lot of times we, we're not used to it in the region. For me, the most interesting thing about the project is your project, is the fact, is this message of, it is about collaboration, collaboration is important. And if you can visualize that in every possible way, I think it's a great project. There is never really, every time, I think that the, 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 what is interesting about uh, collaboration in general is that you have to be so flexible and open to the idea that even though you want to plan it as well as you can, you have to be accepting that it might just completely fail as well. And that's okay, because that's a learning process. So I think what we miss in, in this part of the world is institutions that actually give out you know, proper, generous grants for these kind of initiatives. Because you can, you can start as a grassroots with all sorts of ideas, and you can start as volunteers, and you can go pretty far. 
But there's a point where to execute something and to really produce it and to make a publication, a website or whatever it is, that, that's a lot of work that you can't expect everyone to do on, you know, on their like, free time. So, you know, if, you, if, that is, if you have an, a, a resource where you can say, you know, I want to work with this idea of weaving and, uh, and you know, work on a project for HUT, but then weaving in the UAE and combine these two things, and then I can go on your website and find all the, you know, then, then I'm, it's fantastic.